Hi, I'm Mike with The Daily BM. In this episode, we discuss chivalry in 2024, negative reactions, the dangers, and how technology has come into play. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome to another day at the Daily DM. Mike, what's up? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Daily DM. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, you looked it. <laughs> oh, and, you know, oh, you thanks. Look, thanks, did you, man. Did you not hit the powder room before you started the show? You got a little bit of a glow. Um, on my forehead's a little bit a little bit shiny today. I've got, uh, got a new light trying to brighten it up a little bit. You got a little thing going on. right over here. <laughs> well, okay. Hey, before we get going... What's wrong? Oh, nothing's what's, wrong. Just, what's happening not, in the world of Michael? Let's go. Nothing. I'm just, I'm just being my usual trip self. Yeah, so, but I've got I got to figure out why you're not like you're why you're not chipper. Everything's right as rain. I'm never chipper. When am I ever chipper? <laughs> in the morning. Everybody gets a blast on their way into work or whatever, coming home from work or going to lunch. Arr, I need some powder for my face. <laughs> I just feel like I'm like, you know, a beacon of hope over here with my forehead. Stand you out by a fucking lake <laughs> or by, by stand you, you out know, when by they a said, port of call. I, I don't think when they're telling me to be the lighthouse <laughs> instead of a tugboat, this is what they're talking about. <laughs> be the light in someone's life. Da-da, you take your hat off. And there it comes. How's that? Mm. Bright enough? Holy yeah. shit. I know I had to turn my uh, display brightness down just to take the glare off your forehead. Oh really? No. Yeah. Just I got. I can't see anything right now. All I can see is uh two halos in your glasses. Oh, I forgot. Thanks for freaking telling me before we started the show. Appreciate that. Awesome. Because I can still see you. I just can't read. <sighs> but I can't read oh. anyway, so it doesn't matter. Nice. But but anyway, well we're on um we're on women. What is it? Women Wednesday. Uh, women Trouble Wednesdays, baby. Women Trouble, women Trouble Wednesdays. Wednesdays. This is where we talk about all things women and how they trouble us. <laughs> man you are winning brownie points with the ladies this morning let me just tell you hey you you gotta love them there's no alternative the speechy dies <laughs> I, I my train of thought is completely just completely <laughs> sideways right now because ever since we logged on to start this show before the show it was already in that way and i'm going i, I can't i can't stay focused so sounds like a anyway. problem yeah, it is definitely a me problem. Um, so that being said, I saw a post yeah. on Meta Facebook um, okay. the other day, and it was from a she it was a young lady, and she was complaining in a video about how <sighs> men like she, okay for her. Let me give the scenario: her car broke down on the side of the road near like an intersection. Right. Okay, so Hold on, I got clean my, I got clean my glass I got clean my glasses for this. <laughs> Why you can't listen without without your glasses clean? No, I gotta give my hands something to do. Oh, okay. All I right. Bet. So go. So there's <laughs> a young lady, and she says that where are all the men? Well, damn, you're already already on the way. Hold on, but let me finish the story. So she's on the side I need of the road. So, all right. She's she's basically saying that she pulled every guy like twelve, fifteen cars. Every, the, How the much? Dude, Stop! For God's sake! Not... <laughs> what? You said there's a woman on the side of the road. I just asked how much. <laughs> not, not appropriate. It was twenty dollars. You know, if you're a lady and you're on the side of the road, you might get more attention that way. If you have your car broke down. Anyway, Jesus. All right. So she's on the side of the road. Cars broke down, and go. Yeah. So she's at the light, and she said fifteen guys around, roughly. Pulled up to that light, looked at her, made eye contact, you know, and she's looking at them like, hello, you know what I mean? A little help. <laughs> Turn their head back, go straight down the road. So my question to you is, is because I saw a lot of the comments, because I always go to the comment section because that's the best shit in the world to read, right? Is it not? I mean, come on, man. Humanity's pretty damn funny when you go to the comment section. Sometimes some people are really clever, and some people are just flat out assholes. So I like to go through them and sift through the the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The trash can of comments. So okay, 
So I'm going through the comments, and it's funny because every woman went into attack mode. This is what's wrong with men. and da, 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 You know what I mean? So I'm like laughing, going, okay. You know, but I'm trying to like think about it objectively. Okay, let me just see how they're feeling. But every single one of them went flat on, you know, they were blaming millennial men. I mean, from millennial men to everything. The guys went on the attack saying that blaming feminism and everything else, why they don't pull over and things of that nature. So I was wondering, not a, not a single one of them said one thing, and we'll talk about that, but what's your viewpoint on that? Like, if you pulled up to that light and you saw that woman with a car broken down the side of the road, I'm waiting for the fucking joke here. I just, I'm looking at you, staring at you, and I see it coming, man. So I, I'm trying to keep it straight. I can't even look at you right now on camera because I know what's coming today. So what's your viewpoint when you pull up to that light? She's looking at you like she's in distress. Like, you you can tell she is. Go. Is she hot? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Hold on. All right, go ahead. I was going to say, let's play. Let's play she's hot. It's a trap. I keep driving. (laughs) It's a trap. (laughs) Okay. So she's she's average girl. It's a trap. I keep driving. <laughs> She's buck tooth, butt ass ugly. It's not worth the investment of time. <laughs> Wait, so in every scenario, you look at her right in the face and you just keep on going. Yes. <laughs> Why? I just said it's a trap. But what's the trap? Why is it a trap? Man, have you seen horror movies? Like, you get down there and you're like starting to change a tire. Next thing you know, you're like lunch. You're in the back. You're in the, her hillbilly boyfriend comes out of the woods and clubs you like a baby seal and drags you off, makes you squeal like a pig, and then puts you in the stew. We've all seen this movie. It's all, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I don't mean to cough into the camera. I'm just like, I'm, your viewpoint. Have you seen every horror flick? Yeah, that's the. That's Have the you first not thing seen every thought, horror flick? But that's the first thing you thought that she would chop you up, it, get you in the car. No, not her. Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend would chop you up, yeah. put you, or put Billy you in the Bob. car, take you somewhere, and chop you up. Billy Bob, or his name is Earl. Like one. That's it's <laughs> going to be Billy Bob or Earl is going to come out of the woods and like just chop me up and eat me. Earl. Yeah. Billy Bob and Earl. Why do they have to be country people in order to eat you? Just a high probability. I mean, there's a lot of serial killers out there. I mean, she's breaking down. She's breaking down, like you know, in front of like a Publix. She can just go in the store, <laughs> call a tow truck. I don't know. <laughs> Newsflash, ladies: Do not ever ask Mike for help ever, because he's going to go. It's a yeah. trap, and he's afraid you no, might. Uh, eat. I mean, no. If you ask me for help and I know you, then yeah, sure, no problem. So let me. All right. I don't know. I got. I got a bunch. Of, I got a bunch of a bunch of problems with this. Okay, let's chivalry. Sh- let's, let's chivalry. Chivalry would say to stop and help. Okay. But what happens if you stop and she doesn't want help, and then she maces you, and then the police show up, and now you're going to jail, and you're just like, I just stopped to help, and she's like, he came at me, like I stood my ground, like I don't know. Did she have a sign saying, "Please help me"? <laughs> what? What? I mean. <laughs> Did she have a sign? Please help yeah. me. You, you're, you're this is twenty. This is twenty twenty four. Like we don't know what women want anymore because women don't know what women want. So like, well, hold, on, hold, up, hold 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 up. Back. Let's go <sighs> take a step back. Women have <sighs> never known what they want ever. So to even no, think that that true. all of a sudden changed. Okay, no, when did they know true. what they wanted? All right, go enlighten me. Fifties and sixties. So you think? Okay, so what made them different from 50s and 60s to now? Drugs and rock and roll. So the introduction of drugs and rock and roll and Elvis Presley changed it. Their and mentality. The feminist movement. Feminist movement. So let's get back to that. So you agree with the guys in the comments that feminism, the birth of feminism, has changed the way we respond to things. 100%. It's without a shadow of a doubt. 
You have okay, a 50-50 so- – okay, for example, when you open a door, you have a 50-50 chance of getting a fuck you, I can do it myself, or a thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, sh- common courtesy would normally be to say thank you, but I have had situations <laughs> where, like, I could have got that myself. You know, like, I-, I don't know if you've had to experience that, but I have experienced that. So it makes me less prone to be chivalrous because I don't need the, I don't need the shit, you know? Well, let me ask you one thing. When, when you were told that by that uh, young lady – or old lady, I don't know how old the person was, but what was your response? None. Just let it go. I'm not getting any confrontation with an idiot. Well, I'm not saying a confrontation, but I mean you didn't have any response. I'm not like gonna, I was no, just... I'm not going to retort or nothing. It's like that they made an assertion that they can do it themselves. Fantastic, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Knock yourself out. Now, if you're side of the road, and do it yourself. You know, you're getting eaten by a shark. Fight it off yourself. <laughs> Well, on that one, I'd have to say I'm not jumping in the water to help. At that point, you're on your own. I'm going to wait for the shark to do what he has to do. You're, you're, then I might take the chance to go out there and get you. You're choking You're choking on a hot dog? Do the Heimlich on yourself, you know? Like, knock it out. I can see somebody didn't, like, doesn't give two shits about their CPR training. <laughs> new, new note to self. Do not go to lunch and make sure if I do. No, 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 no. Everything I'm saying that I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that individual. That, that that like berated me on like opening the door like uh but whatever happens to them it's on them you know right you, you need someone you need someone to hold the sheet when you're trying to jump out of the burning building yeah you know find somebody to hold it yourself <laughs> figure it now, out <laughs> now on the flip coin of this on the flip coin of this i thought to myself okay because i was trying to be like objective in every area the first one was you know to help you know what I mean? Because that's mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I have that helper mentality, and you know. But of course, you also don't know what that those guys are. They on the job? Are they headed somewhere? Are they on a time crunch? Or like you? Are they afraid of getting eaten on the side of the road by the girl's boyfriend or her wife's? You know, <laughs> maybe they're into some sick shit. But <sighs> my thing was, it's like we you made a good point just a couple of minutes ago, and that was we live in 2024. We don't live in the 50s, so yeah. we now have cell phones. We can make a phone call. We can call a tow company. We can call a repair shop. You could call your husband or your boyfriend, right. whatever, or if you don't have a girlfriend, if that's how you roll, whatever. So you, you just made me think about that. It's like we do live in the modern era. So what's the complaint? I mean, I mean a couple of years ago, I was in Target. Okay. And I'm in Target, and the lady puts her purse on top of the car. Okay. Okay. And she starts driving off. So I like chase her down and like flag her down and she rolls the windows down and she's like, I have a boyfriend and I'm going to call the cops. And I'm like, your purse is on your roof. Uh, And she's like, and she grabs it and like gets in the car and like speeds off. And I'm like, what a fucking bitch. Like, (laughs) yeah, you know, like I can see that I have a boyfriend. I'm going to call the cops. Cool. Yeah. Tell them that your purse is on top of your fucking car. Exactly. I I mean, listen, I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to be helpful and I'm getting, you know, death threats. <laughs> <laughs> Next so thing you know, here's you're the thing, okay? <laughs> here's the thing. If she's on the side of the road and she's jumping up and down and waving and trying to flag me down, then more than likely I would stop. But if she's just standing there looking perplexed, like with a phone in the hand, I'm probably going to keep driving. Because, like you said, we have phones we have roadside assistance you know it's and we live in a day and age where people are quick to jump to assumptions you know you don't know like what happened you know i send their people are fast to sue so what happens if you get anything there and you you mess up the car because her jack breaks or something and now they want to hold you liable for it no you, i don't you, know you, of that you got a valid point because i was you know it, it didn't hit me until you said we're not this they were different in the 50s to what they are now and then you and then you were saying we're in the modern era when you said that yeah. it really resonated with me because i was like right. wait a minute i was like wait a minute i mean i why want could, my, why my, my, my the heart phone? my heart makes me want to stop correct but my mind tells me not to because i don't know the circumstances now if, if it's a car crash then i'm going to jump out and try to help and see what i can do you know but correct. if they're just standing on the side of the road and they're not physically flagging people trying to flag somebody down you know if they're just standing there looking bitchy with their hand on the hip i'm definitely not fucking stopping because i get enough shit at my house i don't need extra shit on the side you know 
this fucking piece of shit car and i don't hear more bitching like i've got enough like i'm <laughs> i'm trying to listen to like you know my ed my let podcast and i'm trying to get my mind straight on the way to work or the way to where i'm going i don't need to roll over and listen to someone else complaining about how shitty their husband is for not filling up the tires of the air you know because she didn't tell them i'm sorry Oh my god, man! I don't need to listen to another person bitching at me. So, well, I mean, I am gonna say you do live pretty much in a house full of women. I mean, you really do. That's got to be tough because you have what one, two, three, right? Three women in the house with you? No, just two. No, you have three. Where you get third? No, I have two. You have Aiden. <laughs> oh my god! He's a teenage boy. He's still a girl <laughs> until he gets He's silent. The silent majority. Silent majority. <laughs> he may not man, be. I'm, pro- I, I'm proud of that little physically. guy, dude. Yeah, well, he, he, put, he, put, he, got, he got me an arm bar last night and it was pretty, he was pretty good at it. Nice. Oh, yeah. that's right. You started taking judo. Jiu jitsu. Oh, jiu jitsu, judo, jiu jitsu. I don't know. It's all that floor game crap. But um, I'm glad, no, man. Judo, I'm glad you're judo, judo, judo's tosses. Oh, tosses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, man, you're, you know, I, I, without stroking your ego, it's, you know, the realistic ego, thing is I, I watched, you, your I watched ego. you this past weekend. Uh, with in some jujitsu, and you went up really against a big guy, man, a big guy who was a physical, tra- a personal trainer, physically fit to the point of like ridiculously physically fit, and you held your own, man, for five minutes. So I was impressed. I just didn't know how to give up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you still did it. That's the thing. I probably would have got overpowered. His grip, out, his honestly. grip, his his grip was so strong I couldn't tap. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still talking about the jiu-jitsu match, or are we talking about other stuff? I mean, depends well, on how, you, know, on how you, you gotta, roll. When you lose, you got to pay the piper. <laughs> Had to pay up, pony up. Mm-hmm. Get to pony mm-hmm. up with him. So, I, okay, so what's your t- – before we get out of here, what's your take, like your yeah. final take on that situation, like for the listeners? I feel like we live in precarious times. I feel like guys really don't know whether or not they should be chivalrous. And I feel that women are not providing the same level of value to men to want us to be chivalrous. They're not appreciative of when we are chivalrous. Um, And they portray like they want to be the boss too so it's kind of hard when their situation to like step up when you don't know if you're stepping on and i think that's where the problem is today's age like we don't we've we've blurred the the gender roles so much that nobody really knows exactly what they're supposed to do good words man right on on In point. my opinion, I mean, like, like my heart no, says, that's a good point. stop. My heart says, stop and help. But right. you know, there's been times that I've tried to break up a guy, you know, smacking his girl around, only to have them both wailing on me, <laughs> because like all of a sudden, you know, I've grabbed to grab him and pull him back, and then all of a sudden she's beating on me, going, let go of my man. Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, okay, well, if you want to fucking get killed, here you go. But now I got both. The, now I got both of them on me. It's two on one, and I had nothing to do with the situation. Like yeah, I was just trying to escalate it. I was just trying to step up, you know, and do the man thing, and then all of a sudden now it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I. <laughs> why I, am I, I the 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 uh, outlet for your anger? Oh, I know why. Because you guys get a sick pleasure out of this, you know, in your relationship. This is how your relationship is. It's talk is toxic, and I am now an external threat that you both can put your violence towards. Um, and I put myself in harm's way for no good reason. So, I, I think, think that's my, oh, the situation. Yeah, um, I think today's the age. The only thing I want to add on top of what you just said, is I think it's like <clears throat> you said we we live in a different time because of yeah. everything, and, and because yeah. of you know when we talked about that. I, I, if it, the, the technology to me added into the mix with this conversation <laughs> is what <clears throat> in this particular situation. Why couldn't you just use a cell phone and pick it up and call someone? It doesn't. It didn't have to be a yeah. chivalry moment at that point, uh, especially because we don't know. There's many dangers in the world. Unfortunately, it's just the world we live in, um, and I don't have the answer to change that. I don't. I don't. I don't think you do either. 
Um, I mean, I know I went over the top a little bit with the whole eating and the Earl thing, and that, that was for comedic <laughs> effect, but there has been times that guys have pulled over to help somebody, and the next thing they know, they're getting robbed. Or raped. You know? Gagged, uh, oh, raped, get I mean, killed, yeah. whatever. They could have, maybe right. the guy might come off a little bit feminine, and the boyfriend was, you know, shows up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You never, yeah. you just don't know yeah. with, with people these days. So don't take it personal, ladies. Just pick up a cell phone and call your boyfriend, you know, uh, mm -hmm. your husband, or, you know, a, a tow service, repair service, whatever. I think that's the easy way out yeah. not to go back to men didn't pull over for you because you just don't know I what that, that other person's yeah, I think that, is. I mean, I think that 100% is the biggest answer now is people just assume that you've got a cell phone and you got it covered. You know? Correct. And if you're not actively like, you know, putting your hands up and like saying, you know, stop, you know, like calling attention to stop. If you're just standing there kind of pondering or maybe like just waving your hands out of frustration, but it doesn't look like you're trying to get somebody's attention. I mean, if somebody looks at you and you make eye contact, the right thing to do if you need help would be to say like, can you help me? And then hopefully they would stop to help you. But if you just stand there and stare at them, you know, you're mean mugging them and they're looking back at you. They're going to be like, I'm just going to keep driving because this person could be psycho. You know? Yeah, my take gotta, is, and this is my final words, is just that it really boils down to you initiating the communication. If you want it, you have to take an action to get a response. So yeah. you said something earlier in the podcast, and we'll end on this note. You said, <laughs> did she have a sign? <laughs> what was, I, I mean, I'd all joking around aside, did she have yeah. a sign? And what I mean by that, the sign would have been, you just said it, can you help me? Mouth it. Yes. You know right. what I mean? When you make eye contact with somebody in a car, you could just say, can you help me? You or might see I need a help. different, I need help like that, you know, just yeah. some gesture that initiates a response. Now, if the person turns their head, you never know. <laughs> I mean, I'd be like, I'm sorry, you want me to call, you know, or something like that, maybe yeah. nature, but that's about it. Uh, I anywho. see, even though, I, I don't know, like, I think if somebody asked you directly for help, that you would stop and help at that point. Like, whatever, I know I would. You know, unless you're on the way to the emergency room, you got somebody bleeding out in the back seat, you would probably be like, let me pull over and see what the situation is. Or if, if they physically, if they directly ask you for help, or, or if I'm going to dinner, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I I'm don't hungry. know. I don't I'm think hungry, so. man. I'm a hungry man. Uh, yeah, no, you're I, right. I mean, I yeah, I mean, that's no, it. You're right. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So, so anyway, guys, don't forget head over to MasonDangerCO.com. That's where you get twenty percent off on all their products. Uh, it's beard oils, beard waxes, uh, even t-shirts, hats, whatever. They have a lot of cool novel novelty stuff as well. Uh, don't forget to head over to the dailybm.com where you can follow us on all of our socials, YouTube, Rumble. Don't forget to like and subscribe over there and follow us. Uh, Mikey, got anything before we get out of here? Ah, oh, man, everybody just have a great day. You know, be kind to each other. Um, just go out there and try to live your best life. And ladies, you know, just communicate what you want and we'll do our best to make it happen. Right on, right on. And with that, we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces. <laughs>